Hi Star Wars fans, well if you have missed it, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm just going to show you the video that's um, from the Star Wars um, website on the um, the first fitting of the Boba Fett costume. Right guys, enjoy, it's a great video. Okay, we'd like to introduce Boba Fett, and here he is, a new character. Uh, can you speak to us, Boba? Certainly. Boba has sort of a radio voice. There's a speaker built into him here. And also, there's a certain amount of telemetry going on and a certain amount of feedback for some reason. And why don't you turn around and we can take a look at you. In between Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back, of course, there are a lot of, uh, you know, other... I mean, there was a Star Wars TV show, I mean, a, a, a holiday special that was made. And Boba Fett was designed and was in progress in that time period between Star Wars and Empire. And, um, you know, Joe Johnson had designed him, and George had approved the designs, and they built a temporary costume to see what it would look like. So uh, we had the costume there in George's house, and we put it on Dwayne right here, Dwayne Dunham, the editor. Dwayne, the original. Dwayne, do you recall being Boba Fett? Yeah, I was. Yeah, they, they I found that footage of Boba Fett. This is only a black and white tape, and he looks totally white. The... Uh, concept of Boba now is going to be uh, a multicolored uh, fellow. They're going to actually have different colors, basically blue and green, sort of light, muted colors. There's also some, some electronics on him here. They don't really show up in the sunlight here, but there's some readouts here that are, there's some small electronic numbers, things flashing in the window. This is a range finder. Is this what this is here? This is, this tilts down here, and he can look through this device here and, and sight on various targets and so on. There's some little optics and some little lights that blink on and off. There's actually two red lights. I guess there's a number of different weapons. There's the, uh, the rifle, the uh, laser submachine gun, more or less. There's a flamethrower here. Why don't we get a close-up of that aspect here? Okay, it's this uh, structure right here. And I guess what, there's some igniters in the front here that ignite uh, propane gas and it'll shoot out. On top, this is a dart throwing device. Uh, rather deadly, and there's other mechanics and electronics uh, related to that there. These also shoot some sort of darts, projectiles from each knee. There's pockets down on the uh, front of the legs here to uh, store various uh, tools and other uh, accessories. Oh yes, on the feet we have are these blades that kick out. At one time I thought that's what they were going to be. Are these also spikes just for kicking? These are little darts that are flying out. Oh yeah, right here, these four little Pins here. And this is some sort of laser, uh, laser gun. Yeah. Emits from this little copper end here. Uh -huh. and, uh, light. Light that uh, shines. Right on here. This, it's like a flashlight. It would be a torch or something. Flash, yeah. This is his uh, pistol. And the back here has a uh, grappling projected from the the backpack and it goes to wherever it will. So this is part of his uh, jet pack. Sure, have a turn around and get a shot of the uh, jetpack. Do you do it, Dwayne? He's fighting to keep the lift, you know, he's fighting to stay down and that's on. Uh, another feature will be what well, the equivalent of scalps, or actually scalps of some of Boba's victims. Is that a nice one, Bob? <laughs> yeah, it is, right. That's a little too short. Uh, which will be hanging down from his shoulder, you know, sort of like a pigtail might, but these would be the uh, locks of hair of various enemies that he's slain in the course of his mercenary duties. They wanted a character that could make public appearances, and I think Boba was kind of designed as a character between Star Wars and, and Empire that they could, you know, get the public excited about something new. Wayne, how did you get the role? Oh, I, I just fit the suit, that's all. Well, look but, at him. But listen, yeah, he's, he's, but listen, he's, he's, do you know that Boba Fett wore spurs? That's in, right. in the movie, he was yeah, released right. in outer space and Ben put spurs on him. So when, yeah. listen, when Boba Fett walks down the yeah. hallway, yeah. He goes, ching, ching, ching. He didn't have any spurs you could see, but we decided yeah, we would. put them on anyway. That's right, I forgot about that. In that footage, rather than wearing a cape or a serape, he's actually wearing, I think, a Star Wars beach towel. I don't know if it, or yeah, a solid blanket. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the early suit was in, was a, you know, prototype, and so it hadn't been fully developed as it got to be later. Well, thank you very much.